So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about why your robot may not be as accurate as you may want it to be. So our scenario is we have typical EV3 wheels, which are uh, come in the set, and they're 56 millimeters in circumference. Most LEGO wheels have their circumference posted on the side of the wheel, but you can also measure it using a measuring tape. Um, base EV3 kit, which is important for the gap between the two wheels, so how far the wheels are apart, the two wheels, and we're attempting to follow this course. So as you can see, it's a fairly complex t course. It has um, several turns, and it drives for a long amount of time, which is really important when we're when we're exploring why your robot may not be as accurate as you may like it to be. So this program, this um, <clears throat> problem can be solved pretty easily um, using basic trigonometry. And basically what we need to do is we have the wheel circumference and we have the distance between the two wheels, which we you also need to measure. So in my case, it's 45.75 millimeters. So the way that we actually run this is the, the reason why um, robots or anything in general is not as accurate as you may want it to be is because of partially um, the encoders and uh, encoders that uh, come in the Lego motors are only plus or minus one degree accurate. So that may be a very small amount, which it is uh, if you're just making one turn or one straight or whatever. Um, but I'm going to show you here with this diagram, this little triangle, um, how that can really compound. Um, so depending on the circumference of your wheel, you can calculate how many millimeters one degree is. So that's pretty simple. You just take your circumference and divide it by 360 for 360 degrees in a rotation, and that'll give you a number. For me, I got uh, 0 0.155 millimeters. So that's really small. That's um, like basically two tenths of a of a millimeter if you round up, which um, a millimeter is really small. But uh, I guess in this diagram we have wheel one, wheel two, and just a arbitrary point that makes a right angle that makes it easy to uh, do some calculations with this. So if you're not familiar with uh, trigonometry, go look it up. Um, I'm going to assume in this tutorial that you understand the basics of trigonometry. Um, basically what we have here is we have this, this is my calculated value for one degree, um, uh, how many millimeters one degree will make a difference with, and this is my measured value uh, of wheel separation. So essentially what can happen is when you're doing a forwards movement or a turn movement, um, because of the plus or minus one degree for each motor, you can have compounded error. So essentially what that means is uh, one motor can move one degree more than it should have been, or you told it to, or one degree less. So for every degree on my robot, you get 0 0.155 millimeters difference. So essentially what you have is your robot's now angled now as shown in this diagram now it's not to scale it's so that you can actually see it it would be much uh, much smaller angle but this way you can uh, see what can happen um, essentially what happens after this is basically every single turn or straight or anything you do you can be off by this much angle over and over again so every movement you do without realigning yourself or having some sort of sensory input that uh, puts your robot um, back and it knows where your robot is, you're essentially running blind and you're compounding this error over and over and over again. So you can calculate the angle that you're actually 
be going to be off by, which which is this right angle. So we're looking for this angle right here, and um, it's pretty simple because you have your hypotenuse and your opposite. So that's a sine. So you can find your angle, and my angle offset was 0 0.182 degrees, which is not even a degree. That's barely anything, right? Um, so you may think, oh, well, that's um, not very much, right? But if you think about it, every single movement you do, you keep adding to that. Now, if you're off, if you're going for a st long straight line, and you're off by, say, 0 0.8182 degrees, then you're going to have a huge discrepancy. It's like um, being off a degree when you're just walking, and walking straight, you're going to be in a vastly different spot if you walk 100 steps than if you were dead on straight. You're going to be maybe several meters apart. So um, with our with just the turns of our course in example that was earlier, you get 0 0.91 degrees of error. That's not including, um, and that's including the uh, straights too. So you can be off up to one degree. Um, however, that whole your your distance. Well, if we go back to this course, if your turn is a little bit off here, then you're going to go like this, and then you make your next turn. Let's say you under turn, so you go like here. You can see your your where you actually end off is way far from your actual wanting to be place. Um, obviously, my example right there was over dramatized, but that's essentially what's happening, and it keeps getting worse and worse. So you try and do a 90 degree turn from here, and then you go up here, and then you try and do a 45, or um, that's maybe a, kind of like a 45, and then you're ending up here, and then you're driving straight, and you're completely different from where you actually want it to be. So, basically, you can do this. You, just like that, using simple trigonometry, just make your triangle and uh, you can find your error and you can realize how um, how important it is to have sensors and uh, ways that you can have your robot line up uh, so you don't have this compounding error.